All right, Makeup Geeks, I have a fun different video for you guys today. I wanna do over the next several months several educational videos that go really into depth in certain topics. And the topic I'm talking about today is warm versus cool skin. How to tell the difference. Which one are you? Are you warm? Are you cool? Are you in betweener? Can you not pick sides? <laughs> Anyways, I feel like I should have, I have glasses I'm gonna put on. No, I'm not. <laughs> I thought about it. I was like, for the education series, I should feel very smart. I need some glasses, but then I can't see, so I'm not going to put them on. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, warm versus cool tone, how to tell the difference. One of the main ways that you guys can tell is um, by looking at your skin and figuring out, does it have more fiery tones or more watery tones? I don't know if that makes sense. So fire is very warm. It has oranges, reds, golds. Um, it's very just warm. And with the watery tones, you think of water, it's blue, it's green, it's got purple. Those are very cool tones. So when you look at your skin, do you see where you have very warmth? Is there a lot of yellow undertones to it? Or is it more cool? Does it look more pinkish, kind of have the bluish undertones? If you can't tell just by looking at your skin, one way you can tell is by looking at your veins. So what you do is you hold up your arm, look at the vein running down here, and if your vein looks very blue tinted, then you are more likely to be cool toned. If it looks very green, then you're going to be warm toned. If it's in between, like it's a tealish color, then you can be down the middle, which is a neutral tone. In general, more people are warm tone than cool. So even if after looking at your skin or looking at your veins, you can't tell the difference, then you're probably going to be more warm. Now this is a total generalization. This whole video is, it's just to give you an idea. It's not a rule of thumb, it's just a generalization. Um, fair skin, like very porcelain to fair skin, are generally the ones that could be very cool toned. If you are medium to dark skin, more times than not, you're going to have warm under your tones. You're gonna have a very caramel, very um, yellow based tone to your skin. How does warm or cool affect my makeup choices? Now, it's not going to affect your eye makeup at all. So if you wanna wear purple eyeshadow or green or teal or blue or whatever, it does not matter what your skin tone is. The only thing that skin tone affects is gonna be your face makeup. So your concealers, your foundations, your blushes and contours, but everything else on your um, face, such as your eye makeup, even your brows, all of that really depends on your hair, your eye color, and your, generally your preference. Some people like to wear a lot more bolder colors. Some people feel more comfortable in neutrals. So your eye makeup doesn't get affected at all, just your skin. Choosing blushes. Now, I wanna try to explain this very clearly so it makes sense. If you are warm skin tone, you generally want to wear the blushes that are cool. You want it to be the opposite of your skin tone. I'm gonna say it again. <laughs> for your blushes, you generally wanna choose the opposite of what you are. So for me, I'm very neutral, but um, I tend to wear more warmer foundations. I blend them down the neck because warm uh, foundations tend to be a little bit more flattering. So again, if you can't pick or you can't find your right foundation, we'll get in the next step, I go for more warm. So right now, my skin's very warm looking. So I like to wear a neutral or cool toned blush because it's more flattering. If you have a lot of yellow undertones to your skin and you wear a yellow based blush such as a peach one I'll show you an example so this is a peach blush this is makeup geek bliss if you have very yellow toned skin you could wear this I'm not saying you can't but in generally it blends into the skin and it can make it look almost too warm so it's generally more flattering to go with something that's either neutral like this is spellbound or you could go for something more cool or even purple tone which would be like rendezvous because it pops against the skin more um, if you have cool toned skin you generally have a little bit more of a pink base so if you notice you look at your skin you have a lot of like ruddiness or your skin looks like a bit of a pink then you don't want to wear pink blush because it's going to accent that and it's going to make you look overall too pink so generally speaking again general you wear the opposite you're going to wear more peachy tone blushes let me give you guys examples so you can see what i mean which blushes are cool and which are warm so here on the left i have bliss blush and here on the right, I have Rendezvous. Do you see how this one here on the left is very peachy, very warm based? The one on the right is very purpley pink based. That's cool. So there's a difference between warm versus cool. Let me show you another example. So I have here 
Um, this is infatuation. And then I have hanky panky. So on the left is infatuation. Do you see how very earthy, very warm that is? On the right, I have hanky panky, and you see how that's very cool. It has a lot of bluish pink undertones. There's the difference between warm versus cool. Now let me show you one example of a neutral. So neutral is neither warm, it's neither cool. So um, you know, like NARS Orgasm Blush, it's one of the top sellers. The reason why is it's because it's neutral. It works for so many people because it's not warm, it's not cool, it's an in-between. It's a peachy pink color. Does that kind of make sense? Like neutrals down the middle. Um, you know, a lot of people claim they're neutral because they can't tell if they're warm or cool too. But here's an example of a neutral blush. This is Spellbound. Spellbound is one of our top selling blushes. I feel like I'm doing a pitch for blush. I really am not. I'm just showing you guys colors. You can use any brand that you want. NARS does amazing blushes. Kat Von D has great blushes. I'm not just trying to push Makeup Geek. I'm just have them as an example for colors. But this color here is a very warm pink. So it is pink but do you see how it's a warm base? Here's a rendezvous. Do you see how this is very pinky, purpley? This is a warm pink, this is a neutral. So pretty much anyone can wear this shade because it's right down the middle, it's not warm and it's not cool. So does that kind of make sense for blushes? Pick something that's opposite of your skin so it doesn't enhance what your skin is and make it look like one color all around. Okay, contour powders, this is where it gets tricky, folks. <laughs> Generally speaking, if you can't pick one or the other, it doesn't matter what skin color you have, it's good to go down the middle, a neutral. So when you pick your contour colors, the uh, brownie tan colors, you wanna go with something, it's not a reddish brown and it's not a gray brown. You want something that's a very straight down the middle tan. I don't know if that makes sense, but let me show you the difference. Um, here are warm tone brown, uh, browns. These will be some contour colors. Do you see how they have a very reddish undertone? This is like a caramel color. This is a reddish brown. This is a very warm, uh, creamy color. Do you see how they all kind of have a reddish yellow underbase? That is warm tones. Cool tones have a very pinkish undertone. Do you see how these are very beige and pink in undertone? So let me show them side by side so you can see. Here's cool. I'm trying to fit it in one screen. Here's warm. Here's cool. Do you guys kind of see the difference with there? With contour powders, if you are trying to pick and you can't decide, if you can't find any neutrals, and you know how when you buy contours, most of them are warm. They all have like a reddish undertone base, which is fine if you have warm skin. Contour powders, you want to pick the same color as your skin. I'm gonna say that again, because this is different from blushes. For contours, you want the same color as your skin. So if you have cool toned skin, if you, are, um, if you are a porcelain girl, say you have red hair, you have fair skin, you have a lot of pink undertones to your skin, you want a very cool toned contour because if you pick something that's too warm, you can look like an Oompa Loompa and it looks like you have an orange stripe under your cheeks. Have you seen that? Have you seen girls walking around? Because I have. <laughs> I've seen the orange streak. I'm like, oh honey, please, let me show you how to pick a contour color. It's tricky. No one can do it right. It doesn't, I'm I feel bad, I'm not like trying to put people down, but I'm just saying there's not really good education, there's not a good variety of products out there that allow for you to pick the right contour for your skin. And I promise I will do this in detail later, showing you application and everything. And I'm working on contour powders that are clearly labeled, they're coming out soon, I promise, to help all of you guys figure out what to wear. But if you are cool tone spin, skin, pick something that has one of these colors. It's very pinky beige undertone. Let me see if I have one with me. I don't. A good example would be the Kevin Aquan sculpting powder. That's a very cool toned one that works great for cool tone ladies. For the, um, if you have warm skin tone, you can use honestly bronzers. They market them as bronzers, but all they really are are contour powders. So get a matte finish bronzer, like the Too Faced one. I don't have them with me right now. Too Faced has some great ones, and I'll list it on the Makeup Geek site in the article. I'll give you guys buying suggestions on ones you can get. But if you have warm skin, if you have very yellow undertones, you have very like caramel, goldenly tone to your skin, you wanna get either a matte bronzer, or if it's labeled as a contour, make sure that it has this very warm undertone. It's gonna be easy to find. Every company has warm, hardly anyone has cool but you're gonna pick a color that looks like this. 
to contour with because if you have warm skin and you use a very grayish cool tone contour it's gonna look like you have a beard it's gonna look very gray and undercast you're gonna look like kind of sickly have you guys seen that as well so you want to pick something that's the same color as your skin I hope all that makes sense for you guys again go to the makeup geek site I will have a very detailed article with pictures buying suggestions all of that stuff so click on that link below so you guys can see that so that's how you choose your contours foundations you guys this is where it gets tricky as well and i will do a very specific separate video for all of these blush contour foundation i'll do separate ones with application all that stuff i'm just trying to give you guys the info foundations you obviously want to pick something that is the same as your skin tone so once you figure out am i warm am i cool you want to go with a bottle like here's two examples here that matches your skin so you're going to hold it up obviously see how close it matches and honestly you're still going to have to try it on so make sure wherever you buy your foundation has a good return policy so you can take it home wear it for a couple of days go outside in natural daylight and see what it looks like take a selfie look at the picture be like oh no or you could be like, oh yes, it matches. <laughs> so take pictures, if it doesn't work, take it back, get a different color. But you want to find something that has the same undertones as your skin. So right now, like I said, I'm going for more warm. Do you see the difference between these two foundations? This one here is very pink undertone. Do you see how it's very beigey, very pinkish? And this one here is very goldeny undertone. There's the difference. If I had to pick between these two what I would wear, because I'm going more warm right now, I would go with this side. Can you guys kind of see the difference? Let me get a close up. Cool and warm. So that's a way to tell it. And usually makeup companies on their bottle, they will label them if it says warm, it'll say W2. If it's neutral, if it's right down the middle, it's neither really orange or really pink. If it's a blend of the both, it's going to say N, neutral 10, neutral 20. Um, if it's cool tone, sometimes they label it with a P for pink or a C for cool. So it'll say P10, P20, C. 10 c20 or sometimes for a lot of drugstore brands like here's cover girl it'll say classic ivory uh porcelain beige it'll go along with those kind of terms and if it's the more golden warm undertones it'll say like tawny or um something with sun it'll have a different word to it i wish i had good examples what does this maybelline one right here say yeah warm nude see how it says this one's warm nudes so you know oh warm skin this is the one for me you could see it's very yellowy base so that's how you can kind of pick your foundation same thing with concealers um you want to pick something that says w or c or if it's right down the middle it's going to be an n I hope all this information makes sense. I feel like I'm like da, 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 talking. There's so much information I want to share with you guys. So again, make sure you look at that article because I'll have bullet points. It'll be very clear when you read it. You'll see, oh, okay, I'm warm. I need this blush. I need this foundation and all of that. But again, um, figure out, look at your veins. Are they blue? Or are they green? That will tell you if you're warm or cool. Or if you can't tell, you know what you guys could do too, is take a piece of paper and hold it up to your skin. This kind of gives you a white balance to look at it. So when you see my skin, da -na, da -na. <laughs> you see it against this white piece of paper, do I look more yellowish or do I look more pink? And that's how you can kind of tell. But again, if you still can't tell, lean more towards warm. Warm tones are generally more flattering on the skin because they warm up, they liven up the skin versus cool tone. And you'll know when you start putting your foundation on, if you take a picture, you look very yellow. It looks unnatural. You're like, oh, I'm probably not warm. I'm probably cool. Let me get something that's a little more beigey undertone. So hopefully all that information helps to make sense of all of this for you guys. So don't forget to go to makeupgeek.com for a list of all these helpful articles and stuff to help you figure out, are you warm or are you cool? Or are you can decide you're down the middle, you're neutral. <laughs> Anyways, take care, you guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.